Instead of taking the tooth out here and taking the tooth out here, that, those roots will never break. Here they might, here they won't. So you're changing your purchase point by using a diamond. On the anterior teeth, the instrument is unbelievable. All you have to do is touch it. It's just amazing how the anterior instrument works. But again, if you think this will break the buccal bone, again, I tell doctors to take a little diamond and put another finish line in. So you're creating a space between the bone and the root surface. So when you take the tooth out, it doesn't touch the bone. It, it, there's a small space and the angles are completely different. In other words, if I was going to take this tooth out and I was afraid to break the bone, I would take my diamond and I would, instead of grabbing it here, I'd, I would remove that much too. So there's a little space because this root is that long. And then I would go back, instead of grabbing the tooth here, I would grab it down here. And then I would go extremely slow. The, the, uh, theory on the instrument is the slower you go, the easier it comes out. So the the bone, the Correct. You space, the slower you go, just let the energy do the work for you. This is a 40-year-old African-American female who presents for extraction of tooth number 12 and number 14. As we can see, tooth number 12 is broken at the gum line due to decay, and tooth number 14 is non-restorable. The periodontal condition is good. As we can see, there is no bone loss around these teeth. Here we are setting the beak of the forcep on the palatal surface of tooth number 12. And the bumper is placed at about the level of the mucogingival junction. Once this position is secured, we hold a constant pressure in the direction of the bumper. There is no squeezing whatsoever here. The periodontal ligament and the bone expand and weaken, and a periosteal elevator can then be used to remove the tooth from the socket. As we can see, the tooth comes out intact, and there is no damage to the buccal plate. We proceed to tooth number 14. Again, the beak is secured on the palatal surface, and the bumper is placed at the level of the mucogingival junction. This position is secured and a slow, steady rotational force is placed in the direction of the bumper. The tooth is avulsed from the socket and another instrument is used to remove the tooth from the oral cavity. An old rongeer works good for this purpose, a hemostat or a conventional forcep. But as we can see, these roots were very divergent, and there was no fracture to the roots. Even the pathology comes out with the tooth. And the socket is intact. There's no damage to the buccal plate. As we can see, these two difficult extractions were done in a matter of less than two minutes.
This is a 58-year-old African-American female who presents for extraction of her remaining teeth. We see here there's an endodontically treated tooth, and there are teeth with large carious restorations. The patient has been anesthetized, and I am now removing the gingival attachment using a periosteal elevator. Some of these teeth are periodontally involved. Some are, just have large carious restorations. But all the remaining teeth are being removed in order to fit her with a lower denture. Here the physics forcep is being placed deep into the lingual sulcus. I am pushing it down with my thumb in order to obtain a good purchase point because this tooth is broken at the gum line. Rotating